Now that I've hit the record button, we can get started. Cooking on a Weber. This may not be 11 secret herbs and spices, but it's tasty. Woo! I'll light up a chimney starter full of briquettes and dump them in. I say it every week, that should be illegal. Hi, welcome to Shuey's Barbecue, Well, you'll learn the tips and tricks to master your grill. In this series of how-to videos that I'm calling Shuey's Shorts, I'll be running through some of the best ways to set up and get the most out of your 57 centimetre Weber kettle. In this video, we're going to be tackling the new Master Touch Plus. If you do like this video, don't forget, give it a thumbs up, but also share it with your mates. But the best thing you can do for yourself is hit the subscribe and the bell buttons, and that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So, let's get into it. We need to tame that heat. Yeah! So let's run through some basics before we get into the setups. And these basics are for every cook. Number one, control the temp with the bowl vent. Leave that lid vent wide open. Number two, do not rely on a lid thermometer. Go out and get yourself an ambient temp probe that clips to the grill where your food is. The difference between the grill and where that thermometer on a lid is is about 15 centimetres. And the heat is going to be drastically different from the two. Number three, the lid vent should always be positioned over your food or on the opposite side of the lit fuel. This is going to draw the heat and if you're using smoking wood, the smoke across your food and out through that lid vent. Four, use water as a stabiliser, because water heats up and cools down a lot slower than air does. So, use it to help stop fluctuations in windy conditions. Also, if you've overshot the temp that you're looking to get to and you're having trouble closing the vents down and bringing that temp back down, add a water pan, add cold water to it and watch that temp drop really quickly. Number five, if you are starting a cook with a water pan, make sure it's hot water. That way, it won't be cold water, which will be absorbing all the heat and energy from your fuel. You won't be heating up the water, you'll be heating up the air inside the Weber. And the fact is, then it's going to create steam straight away, and steam actually helps smoke adhere to your food. Six, if you are adding smoking wood, especially chunks, and you're adding more than one, you want to leave a gap of at least 50 mil in between each piece. The reason being is the wood actually ignites and burns a lot quicker than the lump charcoal and the briquettes. And if you push them all together, they're going to force your fuel to ignite and burn a lot quicker, creating a massive heat, heat spike. So 50 mil apart and you'll be fine. Number seven. Don't overthink it. It is, in the end, just heat and meat. Number eight, stay hydrated. Although I'm not cooking today, I do need to stay well hydrated. Since beer is made up of 90% water and the human body is made up of 60% water, it's only natural that you'll have a drink or two while watching this video. Or, for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a one beer video. But, just to be sure, make it two. Okay, so now we get to the new Weber Master Touch Plus, which comes with a charcoal ring, like the Weber Smoky Mountains, and a thin, little deflector plate that sits right on top. 
I found a minion style method is the perfect setup for holding low and slow temps in this new weather. And this setup is best used for briquettes because you can stack them in a lot neater and get more fuel in there. So you start on the outer part of the ring and just stacking the briquettes up nice and neat, then do a secondary row and a third row. You're going to leave a spot for 12 briquettes that you're going to light up in a chimney starter and then you can dump in there. Now if you do want to put any smoking wood in here, just take out one or two briquettes and replace it with a piece of smoking wood. But yes, yeah, so once the lit briquettes are all ashed over, you dump them into the centre and that minion method will burn outwards. Now we're just going to put the deflector plate in there. Now we've just got to put the deflector plate over the top. Now you do get a lot more grill space to use as opposed to the standard kettle because you aren't contending with any radiant heat whatsoever because of that diffuser plate. With some vent adjustments, it's going to take 30 to 40 minutes for the temp in this Weber to reach 107 to 135 degrees Celsius. And as always, I'll normally start closing those vents down when my temp is about 20 degrees off my target temp. So there you have it. One of many ways you can set up the most versatile barbecue you can buy. The only thing left to do is work out what to cook. As always, thanks for watching. And if you do like free stuff, check out my Instagram for giveaways and extra content. Cheers.